Although you can obtain many of the same basic nutrients from both plants and animal products, there are several reasons why you're better off getting them from plants. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about exactly what the benefits versus the costs are of eating animal versus plant-based foods and how they either increase or decrease your risk of chronic disease. If you're new here, I'm Carly, I'm a plant-based nutritionist. I have personally been vegan for about five years now. Let's first talk about animal products and how they increase your risk of chronic disease. And this is virtually all chronic diseases. About 80% of the diseases that people die from in developed countries are due to preventable lifestyle related problems. Saturated fat causes a number of ailments in the body. It induces things like heart disease, diabetes, obesity. If you're eating too much saturated fat, you're blocking your arteries to the point where all the oxygen and nutrients that need to get through those arteries to get to different tissues and cells in your body to obtain those nutrients and oxygen, they are depleted from that and in turn will amount to things such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Anytime you're messing with the arteries, you're going to have systemic outcomes. So any organ throughout the body can be damaged by not getting the proper amount of oxygen and nutrients. Trans fat is another reason why animal products are so harmful. This is solely found in animal foods it's recently been taken off the shelves in processed foods that were deliberately <laughs> inserting trans fat into the food supply, but it's an incredibly slow moving process whenever something gets pulled from the shelf. So for the next decade or so, you're gonna see plenty of trans fat. Just try to stay away from processed foods and you won't have a problem. So cholesterol is another component that you will only find in animal foods. This has been particularly indicated in heart disease. That is the number one killer of developed countries. In and of itself, that's a good reason to stay away from animal foods. Our body makes all the cholesterol it needs. There's no reason for us to be getting it from external sources. Eggs are by far the highest contributor to cholesterol in the westernized diet. Animal products also increase TMAO, which is an oxidized version of trimethylamine which is a byproduct of the metabolism of these animal foods. This has been shown to increase things like cardiovascular disease and different forms of cancer. It also increases IGF-1, which stimulates cell growth and prol proliferation. So it's particularly indicative of cancers. It's, um, it, it promotes growth. After you're an adult, you have no reason to promote growth. So if you're consuming lots of IGF-1, which is typically found in things like dairy and meats to a lesser extent, you're going to induce tumor cell growth. Animal foods are also completely deficient in things like fiber, antioxidants, phytochemicals, all of the things that we require to stay healthy and thrive. And the last thing I want to note about animal products is that they are incredibly calorically dense. So not only do they hold very little nutritional components, but they also have an extremely high amount of calories. So you're getting the worst of both worlds. And no wonder why our country is so fat and sick. Now I'm going to talk about why plants um, in a plant-based diet have been shown to decrease levels of chronic disease. Number one, Fiber. I cannot say enough good things about fiber and nobody eats enough of it, including myself. Fiber has been indicated to reduce things such as bowel immotility and anything from anxiety and depression to diabetes, Alzheimer's. Fiber is incredibly important for our normal bodily functions. The next one I want to talk about is antioxidants. Plants are the only food source that provide both fiber and antioxidants. So you're going to want to get as much of a variety of colors in your diet as you can from these different plant foods. They always say eat the rainbow. So try to get a different food that's the color of each 
color of the rainbow. So lots of purples and blues and yellows and oranges and reds. The next big benefit of eating mainly plant foods in your diet is going to be that they're so low in saturated fat and completely um, devoid of trans fat. So again, saturated fat has been indicated in the majority of Western illnesses. Although there is saturated fat in some plant foods, the impact that they have on the body has been shown to be very different from the impact that animal foods and the saturated fat found in those foods have on the body. Not to say you should go eat a bunch of avocados and nuts and seeds and things of that nature um, to an extent that's going to be harmful to your health because too much of any macronutrient is gonna be harmful. Cholesterol, plant foods do not contain any cholesterol and we've already discussed all the harmful things um, that that causes. So I'm gonna move right into calories. Plants are incredibly nutrient dense while having very, very, very low caloric density. You can basically eat whatever you want all day, every day and not gain weight because these foods are so high in things like fiber and water and vitamins and minerals that you literally don't feel the need to overconsume. I just wanna give you the caveat that plants do provide all of our necessary nutritive components aside from B12. You're gonna need to get a supplement of B12 and that goes for omnivorous individuals as well. Lots of studies show that both plant-based and meat eaters have trouble getting enough B12 because of our modern sanitation practices. This is not really a vitamin, it's a microorganism that lives in the soil and converts the uh, special components that our bodies need to thrive. So I hope this was helpful and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.